Hello everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let's continue where we left off. sent for me. Said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Fucking get up then. <laughs> Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. And the quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit, there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done it. We are more alike than we first appear, Evar. And I will carry the scars to Romani. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Simrix Dotir now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mail shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Richardus was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Evar, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. I gave Bernard to Charles as a bridge to an alliance. Yes, well, the boy barely lasted a day with that betrayer before running back to Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. <sighs> I will find Richardis. I'm duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... She is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. No. Murdering Charles on the hope it will bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I mean to make. I misjudged you, Evar. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough. You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I will go to the tavern in Amiens and find Richardis. Fine. Bonne chance, Evar. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not.
Yeah, when I, when I first heard that buddy, um, Roller was in this game, I literally thought he'd be the one who received the pass DLC. That's what I, my first thought. I need your eyes, my friend. So he was one that, um, led him to Normandy, I think. Oh, he's one of them. Hey! You brought this on yourselves. Keep. What happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone. The monster, so much blood. Just hide! Better to look around myself. There is a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church, and hope to find the queen there. Great victory, it was a fucking truth. I know it. The bastard prince. This place is heavily guarded. Nobody should be found alive. Bleed you. to my father. Something is wrong with him. Quiet, boy. I'm not going to take you to Charles. Not again. But last time... This is different. How did you escape? I snuck through the villa wall where there's construction. I climbed. Then I found Richardis at the tavern. I did it all on my own. Where is Richardis? Where is the queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to father for something. A test. I was... What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. 
Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At Father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house and listen. I will see to Shadis. I can help. I know things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It will be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down to the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up for it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going, and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo. You're not Captain America, right? Oh, I forgot they can swim. Ah! 
Who says I'm trying to escape? It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles. Who must seek his forgiveness? <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king, and before God. It's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs. Alive. Stand aside, Bishop. Your God does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Lucian. The Lord spared me. I am his wrath! Can't Eivor cut his head off? That'll do it.
I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in the sir. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flash of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago, he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to our remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Fine. If I can, I will spare him. But I need to be sure he can abide these terms. I know you will do what's right. The Lord works through you, and he is merciful. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. Till next time guys.